ready? These are frozen cod. Let's make something delicious side dish with this. Let's make a spicy cod fillet in Korean, daegusal jorim. First thing we have to do is this is thaw out. I'm using only one pound. Frozen cod look like this. These are all thawed out. Of course, you can use fresh cod fillet too. You see, this is exactly one pound. Last night, I put them in the fridge. And now, perfectly all just soft now. I'm going to season this. So now, this is too big size. I'm going to cut this in like a half. Wow, this is a big chunk. Half a teaspoon salt. Ground black pepper, around a quarter teaspoon. Put this back. Keep this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes so that it's well seasoned. 30 minutes after, I'm going to dry out with my paper towel. Next, this is a good tip. I'm going to coat this fish fillet with the starch, this potato starch. This is a really good tip, big difference. Texture is much, much better and also shiny and a little make it sticky. It gives us amazing texture. Just uh, I need two tablespoons. If you don't have a potato starch, use just a plain flour. Two. And coat. So now, this fish is all prepared. This is my small pan. I'm going to cook here. A medium-sized onion, two garlic cloves, and green onion, and green chili pepper. That's all I need. First, onion, let's spread. Onion comforter. <laughs> Sliced onion. Okay. And two garlic cloves. These are large garlic cloves. Next, Tashima is a dried kelp. I'm using this dried kelp to make it savory. Just around your the hand, like a size. We don't need it because of really little amount of fish, so we don't use much. Just cut it like this. I need only one tablespoon soy sauce. Around two teaspoons gochugaru, hot pepper flakes. Of course, you guys can control the spiciness. You can make it non-spicy by not adding gochugaru. I'm going to add one cup water. Turn on the heat, medium high heat, and let's boil. I may have to add more water later, I will see. It will start boiling in three minutes. Then I'm going to add this fish. Usually, just we always use whole fish or cut off including all bones because delicious stuff is coming out from the fish bone. The reason I developed this recipe and also I love about this recipe is that because of one of my friends. One day we had a dinner party in my house 
and everybody eating kind of, you know, Korean side dish, many side dishes, and we busy eating. There was a fish size pan fried and kind of coated with sweet, crunchy sauce. Kind of looks really, really delicious, and we Koreans have no problem. I can take out the fish bone so easily because we are so accustomed to eating fish that way. But I saw that my friend was just running to the, running to the bathroom, and like this. <laughs> I found out that he just chewed fish bone and he was so freaked out. I thought that, you know, maybe I should make this kind of, you know, recipe and no fish bones so that everybody can, even Koreans, even myself, don't worry about fish bone taking out. So especially this recipe is perfect. Of course, when I make kind of a soup or a stew, definitely I have to use this fish bone together because fish bone gives a really deliciousness. Now it starts boiling. Just three minutes later, it starts boiling and this dried kelp is expanding now because this dried kelp makes it tasty. I'm going to turn down the heat to medium. So let's add this fish. Like this. And close. I'm cooking five minutes. After that, I'm going to add green chili pepper and green onion. Five minutes passed. Oh, wow, look at this. I turn down the heat to medium low and flip it over. Fish. I think I need to add a quarter cup more water. Green onion and green chili pepper. So I just cook another five minutes, then it's finished. I'm going to serve this directly on the table. Okay. Wow, nice. Look at that. Wow. This, uh, on the bottom, there's an uh, onion. Because of this, it's not burning. Scoop some and then put this on the top. Turn off. That's it. So these are my meat banchan brought from my refrigerator. I made some also freshly made side dish. And with this, it will be perfect meal. <laughs> Tiny anchovies. You can keep in the refrigerator for one month. But I made this this morning. And then this is Jangjorim salty braised beef. Bugon muchim is dried pollock. Oh my, so good. Mouth watering. This is my lunch. Ooh. So when you eat with your family, like this. Smells so good. I love it. Okay, I know I make this way all the time, so I know what it tastes like. Look at that. It's a little broken easily because it's so flaky and soft. Mm. <laughs> this fish is flaky and chewy a little bit. And then soft, very soft, melting in my mouth. Not greasy at all, very refreshing and yummy. Spinach. So I'm going to use my spoon. Mm. Salty braised beef. Mm -hmm. Dry the pollock. Before attacking this guy, I gotta eat this rice because rice is a blend. This is a salty side dish all together. Good, good. Now it's time to say goodbye. Today I showed you how to make this 
spicy cold fillet in Korean 대구살 조림. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.